Hi, this is Todd Baginski. I'm a Microsoft MVP and the partner and CTO at Canvas Consulting. I've got another short Power Apps video for you here to show you a development trick related to OnStart and the OnVisible methods in a Power App. Before you show you the trick, let me tell you how the OnStart and OnVisible methods work. The OnStart method, which I'm looking at the code here, appears in the first screen in every Power App you create. It does not appear in any other screens in a Power App. The OnStart method executes the first time you load the Power App in the editor or when you run a Power App at runtime. The OnVisible method for a Power App runs every time that a screen is displayed in a Power App. Whether you switch between the screens in the editor or at runtime in an app, every time that screen becomes visible, OnVisible will run. So let's look at how this works inside of a Power App. Notice that my onStart method for this Power App sets show hexagon equal to false. I have a hexagon right here. You can't see it because its visibility is set to false right now. The reason that's the case is because if we look at the visible property over here for this Power App control, we can see that its visibility is determined based on the show hexagon properties value. Because OnStart set it to false, when I first opened the Power App, we could not see it. However, if I go over to Screen 2 by clicking the Screen 2 button, just like that, now we can see the OnVisible event for this screen sets Show Hexagon to True. Therefore, when I click this button here to navigate back to the home screen, now we can see this particular hexagon control is visible. If I'd like to simulate the onStart method without closing and opening my Power App, I can put a button on the screen just like this, and I can put the same exact code in my onStart method within the onSelect method for that button. You can see again here show x hexagon will be false when I click this button. Clicking the button simulates the onStart event and puts the app in the state it was where it started and now the hexagon has disappeared. Now this is a very simple example that I showed here, but what if you're in a more complex power app? That's when really faking out the on start method can be very handy. Here's an example of the meeting capture power app we created for Microsoft. You can find this power app on web.powerapps.com. Notice our on start method here is doing a bunch of different things. In a scenario such as this, it's very handy to simply add a new button to your Power App, just like that, and then go grab your on start code by copying and pasting it into the on select event for your button. Just like I did in the past Power App, now whenever I click this button, it will run the code inside of on start. So I don't have to shut down my Power App, close it out altogether, and then reload it just to fire that particular code again. I hope this short video was helpful for you. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. I'll see you next time.